Hello and welcome. We are team Hack for Environment. We are working on a prob problem smart solution to curb emission of greenhouse gases in IT industries. As per some independence research, if the computer, laptop or a server runs for 8 hours, then it almost emits 175 kg of carbon dioxide per year. If we identify the devices which are not required during the non-business hours and turn, turn them off, then we can reduce a good amount of carbon footprint. We are building a full stack solution that will identify the devices which are not required during the non-business hours and turn them off during the non-productive environment. Here we can control any kind of cloud, any servers running in any kind of cloud. It can be running in the private cloud or a data center hybrid cloud or even on the on-premises. Although our solution talks about simple problem, but if it implements implemented correctly, then it can definitely reduce the carbon footprint. So our solution make uses of the Azure monitor, Azure automation and Azure hybrid runbook worker. With the Azure monitor, we will first identify the uses of the devices and if they are needed if they are not needed during the non-business hours, then with the help of the Azure Automation and the Hybrid Runbook Worker, we can turn them off. So let me show you how exactly our project is working. So as I said, we are making use of the Azure Monitor. So this is my Azure Monitor workspace. Here we are identifying the productivity and the utilization of the devices. Here we have a very uh, vivid kind of a dashboard will, will, which will give us a exact information about the devices, how it is running and what exactly is doing, where exactly it making a com connections. So with this environment, it will be easy for us to identify the productivity of the device. So here is a dashboard that's called service map. That's going to tell us about to all devices or to all network where our device is making communication. So for example, this is my on-premises machine. Uh, we will try to identify uh, how exactly it's working and what exactly it's doing. So it's if you see here, it, uh, let me zoom in. Here we can see like it's making the uh, communication to these all ports. And with this, like it will help us in actually finding out what exactly our computer do and do we really need it in the non-business also not. There are other kind of dashboards also. For example, uh, we have the agent health. We have a change tracking. So once we identify the device with the help of these dashboards, then we can easily find out whether we need that device or not. Now with the Azure monitor, we can find out the productivity of the device and we will try to see if we really need it during the non-business hours. So for example, we have identified some devices which are not needed during the non-business hours. Then we will be using the Azure automation for for uh, uh, turning them off during the non-productive hours. So for doing that, uh, we have developed the uh, couple of run books. Right now we are just covering the servers which are running into the Azure uh, Azure environment and on the on-premises. So this is the run book which actually uh, try to shut down the devices, the Azure virtual machines which are not running. So here is the code. Uh, the, the, the readme page has the link to the code as well. And uh, here is the run book for on-premises machine. Uh, which is uh, which will turn off the devices. So this uh, this particular thing, the the runbook for the on-premises devices, will will directly run on the hybrid runbook worker. So hybrid runbook worker is a machine is a is kind of a, a device, or you can call it as a server, or you can call it as a sandbox, which is actually running into your on-premises infrastructure where your machine resides, and the code will execute on it so that it can communicate with all the other machines which are in the same network. Uh, and for the Azure virtual machines, it's going to run it into the Azure uh, 
sandbox so that it can control the Azure Azure machines as well. So now with this, like when you execute this runbook, it will definitely uh, turn off the device. But how about doing it automatically? So for doing that automatically, we have created the schedules. Uh, so the schedule for shutting down the Azure VM it runs every day at 11 p.m. and uh, it will execute that runbook. It's a recurring uh, schedule, and uh, once this execute the runbook, the Azure server will uh, Azure servers will be shut down. And uh, in the same way, uh, we have created a uh, we have created the schedule for the on-premises machines as well. It will call the runbook for uh, turning off the on-premises devices at the particular time uh, we can define the time right now just for a testing service I, I made it as 11 55 a.m. so uh, they will run at the particular time which is defined in these schedules and uh, so let me show you uh, how they do the thing so they got executed in the in the past so we will just see the jobs so uh, here you see uh, there is a uh, hack, uh, this thing ha this is the job uh, this is the runbook which got executed at around 11:36, and which has shut down the on-premises server and uh, this is the uh, this is here is the code for the Azure VM which was uh, executed today I mean just for a testing purpose I executed at a different time so this is the way we are controlling it although the solution looks very simple uh, but I mean it is looking simple because we have uh, set up these all things with the correct uh, correct tools available in the Azure. Azure monitor is a very good tool for doing the for identifying the productivity or for monitoring the devices or with this we can actually identify what all devices make our infrastructure and with Azure automation we can control the turn of uh, we can control the shutdown of the devices and many other things. So for example if we are uh, we have identified that 25% of the devices are non-productive and we are turning them off then first thing that we are going to save is the electricity for running those devices second thing there are other components uh, involved like the uh, we need a cooling system so if the devices are not running uh, during the non-business hours then we may need a less amount of cooling um, cooling so that way also we will be saving the electricity and we will make a very low impact on the um, on the environment and we will try to emit the very less amount of carbon gases so uh, this is all about my project uh, here is the uh, github repository where i have uploaded all the all the codes and the uh, introduction about the project um, as well as the architecture diagram so yeah that's all about my project